Hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for watching. Now if you watch the channel for a while you'll remember hopefully that I did a video on painting handles where I went from ones you can make yourself right up to and including this Redgrass Games handle you see here. End of that video I sort of said I'm going to keep using the Redgrass Games handle for larger models like Typhus as you see here in last week's video you've seen that and because I've got a big collection of Games Workshop handles for the vast majority I've carried on using those. Now the main reason for that is in that video you'll see that I actually broke the Redgrass Games handle entirely my fault and when I fixed it it stopped it basically being able to be used for the removal caps. Now someone at Redgrass Games had obviously seen that video and said it's such a shame that you didn't get the opportunity to see the full functionality of the handle because you broke it. So would you like to send a replacement out? So clearly I said yes, I'm never going to turn uh, down a replacement and something for free. They also said they're going to throw in their new Kickstarter pack uh, for some of the new handles and some of the new bits they're adding on to it. So I thought fab, great chance to uh, you know have a play with something new. Now, so to be super clear, I was sent what I'm talking through today here with Redgrass Games. It's not going to affect in the slightest what I say or think about it. And if you see at the end of the video, you'll get my sort of final conclusions and see uh, that I think I'm being completely genuine about my sort of thoughts on this. So this Kickstarter pack, what do you get? This is the, this I'm holding here is the same handle that's been out for a couple of years now. I think this is their version two. Removable lids, small lids, a little flat top. You get the uh, mounting putty stuff to stick your models on, and we'll go through that later. You also get this little metal disc with a little sticky pad at the bottom. And what's really good is at the bottom of the painting handle, there is a magnet that you then stick that down to the metal pad, wherever that is on your painting table or a painting mat or whatever. And that just means then if you knock your table when you're standing up or whatever, there's less chance of that handle falling over. And that is something that I have had happen with the kind of non-magnetic handles that I traditionally use. You also get in the set four of the original style lids. I really look forward to using these because it's not something I had the chance to do on my previous handle. A couple of the big packs of mounting putty. Um, this is probably going to be years and years of uh, supply worth because I have found that the small pack you got, which I'm showing here, I got with the original handle um, and I'm still using that original pack. This putty that you use is actually pretty good you don't lose too much of it on the bottom of a base unless you see here there's like a little hole in the base or whatever uh, whereas I found when you're using blue tack which I do on sort of homemade handles on before you do lose quite a lot on the bases so it's obviously whatever they make it out of must be slightly different now the larger lids this is the sort of primary difference with the new kickstarter and the upgrades to the handles and on first look I think well it's not vastly different how is it really going to improve the painting experience so there's a larger well at the bottom where you're going to put that putty and you're going to stick the model into it's wider obviously at the top there and they are actually taller so when you take off the thinner handle you see there it's obviously brand new so it's a little bit stiff uh, and put the new handle on it gives a little bit more height there's that slight over curve if that's even the word where your thumb sort of rests under into a notch and strangely it seems like such a subtle change but instantly it felt more comfortable in my hand you can see my natural hand resting position on the original handle means you've got to curl your thumb up slightly to go on to that turning position not a problem still very comfortable still very good but for me it fits perfectly in my hand just on first impression I suppose for a comparison I'm six foot two relatively tall guy um, I don't have massive hands I've got what I would consider sort of average to medium man hands that you would expect someone six foot two has so you know fairly large hands compared to I suppose, some people so for me ideal sized now this is one of the changes you get these little cork tops so you get four cork tops you see they're sticky back on the uh, the back of it there to glue it down to a handle and these are meant for putting model parts on little spikes on little bits of uh, wire or whatever and pushing them into the cork so you can paint parts separately rather than having to maybe hold the, the the pin that you've put the part on you get four of these now that is not a technique i do very often i have done it on a channel before if you've watched my videos where i was testing um glowing effects on plasma guns and stuff but funnily enough when i was painting typhus he's got all these flies and bugs coming out of his back i was literally doing him last week thinking i really should have done this in sub components and i suppose part of why i didn't is I actually find it quite awkward once you've pinned those models to hold a little bit of wire while you're painting it or a little bit of cocktail stick. So it's something I have done, not very often. Um, now I've got a tool for it. Will it be something to do more on the channel? Maybe. We'll see. Um, onto the putty part. It does say here that on the pack, when you use the putty, try and keep it covered in between uses. Never done that. Mine still works absolutely fine. So just a point on the side for you there. So I chose to stick one of these cork things down to the one of the original lids. On my original handle and this will now become my sort of you know sub-component painting handle because again without a swappable lid uh, and point a note with the metal part there so i'm gonna you know uh, just show you i did move my little metal disc from where i had it stuck on my table for a while to stick it on the painting mat just to show you it 
sort of in use on camera. It did bend a little, but you can move these things about. So I'm now gonna keep that as a subcomponent painting handle. Subcomponents isn't something I do a great deal of. You may see it on the channel. I'm not demonstrating it here um, because again, it's not something I particularly do, but all you would do again is pin it with a bit of metal, stick it into that cork. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be good fun. Now, I thought I would mount a model the exact right way that Redgrass tell you to do it, which is by sticking the putty in and spreading it out across the whole layer, pushing the base in. I personally mount it like this by putting a little blob in the middle and pushing the model down onto it. Now, a sort of stress test, how secure is the system of sticking it down? So I've shown you how they recommend you to do it with across the whole base. It's fine, holds it perfectly well. It's really secure, you give it a really good shake. It does not move in the slightest, and we'll show you this with a larger model later on. The way I do it, I'd say exactly the same. Really secure, um, yeah, you can have no problems with that kind of security of your model there. Now, the reason I do it with a little blob in the middle rather than the whole uh, slab of mounting putty is really because what I love about this style of handle is that you can get at the base edge. So you can paint the base edge black while it's still mounted on the handle. One of the big drawbacks of the Games Workshop handles that I frequently use is when it comes to painting the edge of the base, you've got to take the model off the handle and then you're handling it while painting the rim. And if you watch my original video about painting handles, you'll know that's one of the things that I really appreciated these handles for. So I'm painting a batch of 20 pox walkers for 140,000 at the moment, and I've been playing. So at the time of recording uh, the voiceover of this video, I'm kind of halfway through that batch. So I've had a good bit of a play now. Switching the lids between models is really easy. It's actually really quick. You can keep the handle in, in your hand while you take that lid off and put it down. The turning function is great. It's very, very comfortable. Looking at the Games Workshop lid handles that I use the most, again, because I've got a lot of my own them already, Again, they're equally good to use. I've got loads of them, we're gonna continue using them. But in terms of comfortability and cost, if I was starting from scratch, I probably would go for the Redgrass Games version and not just for the cost reason, for space reasons. So just a quick comparison here, I'm doing a batch of 20. Look at the space the Redgrass Games lids take up versus the space the Games Workshop handles take up. It'd be quite easy for you to do 20 or 30 models in a small space. Now, one of the things the handles will do with the big lids is hold big models. So I thought I'd do a bit of a show. Already painted it, finished model that I did a conversion uh, for Space Marine. So a bit of a weird, wild conversion. One of the tallest models I just happened to in my cabinet. Um, holds it really, really well. I was very surprised when I did the shake test, I expected that model to go flying off. It didn't. So can be used for much, much bigger models than any kind of conventional handle I've ever used. So I suppose in summary, um, yeah, I like the pinning idea. I will try that on the channel in the future, not really a technique I do. I absolutely love the larger handles, really, really comfortable for my hands. The swapping technique to swap between lids, yeah, brilliant. Fast, takes up a lot less room in your painting table. Um, and actually, when you look at the cost, a lot cheaper than a lot of other options that are out there. Now, obviously, they sent me it for free. Um, you're going to think, oh, he's just being all effusive about how good it is because they were freebies. Um, well, partly, yes, I suppose. But I also went on to the Kickstarter and I backed it myself with my own cash that I didn't have to do. There was no kind of uh, thing in there. I went for uh, some extra handles. I also backed, because uh, there is different options of Kickstarters, I also backed for one of their um, wet palettes. I couldn't use a wet palette. I thought, why not? Let's have a play of another wet palette from a different manufacturer because, you know, I've really enjoyed these handles to get that. I put three packs of the swappable lids in, so I'd end up with like 20 lids all together um, because I did genuinely enjoy this handle. Not the most in-depth review, not the most scientific, and I'm not the greatest painter in the world, but I have thoroughly enjoyed this set. So I hope that sort of give you a bit of a thought about well, my mind. If you enjoyed that, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video.